This is Rebecca Tatilo again with Aroma Hut and today we're going to start with building an accord. The first one I want to start with is building a vertical accord. Let's just begin with getting all of your supplies out. You want to get your essential oils, have them out in front of you. You're going to need to have uh, your coffee beans or coffee with you. I got my Bali coffee here. Couldn't find my beans, so I decided just to pull this out. Ah, it smells so good. You want to smell? Oh my goodness. Can you smell that? It, oh my gosh. When I went to the um, Asia, actually, uh, a few years back, I got a chance to try all the coffees including the most expensive coffee in the world uh what's it called uh kopi luget kopi luget how do you say that <sighs> can't remember kopi luet the most expensive coffee in the world smell it isn't that good gotta go watch that movie um Bucket list. Remember that one when they were talking about the, the coffee? Yeah, the one with the, uh, the Chevette's poop out. Yeah, I got to see that. That was fun. All right, anyway, sorry, sidetrack. So we use the coffee just to clear a palate. I know they say technically it supposedly doesn't work, but yeah, it does. It helps you to get a breath. If you need to, just go outside and get some fresh air. You can do that. All right. Now what we're going to be need to do next is decide on our medium. Now if you're going to be using an alcohol, you'll be needing to have that available, a perfumer alcohol, or you can use jojoba oil. Um, this is what I'm going to be using. So what I'm going to be is actually taking my jojoba and I've got a five mil bottle here. Um, you can use the brown ones, but I had the clear one and it doesn't have the reducer in it. So I figured this would be perfect. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and fill it up with one teaspoon of wool, which is equivalent to a five mil. So that's a hundred drops. Okay. So let's just go ahead and fill up with this. So it's recommended that you are going to be diluting at 10% when you're making your blends. And the reason for that is because this is really going to give you a good idea of what your perfume is going to smell like. Because when you're blending, you know, fully concentrated, it's strong and you, you know, you feel like, wow, that's powerful. Well, it may not be once you add your perfumers, alcohol, or your ho hoba. All right, so I have my jojoba ready to go. And so with this particular amount, which is about 100 drops, we're gonna be needing a total of 10 drops for that 10% dilution. So in this, following the ratio of 40, 30, 30, that means that I'm gonna be needing four drops top note, three drops middle note, and three drops base note. And I'm gonna be just blending it right into here. Now, the thing about having perfume oils is that your odor can get lost in the oil because it is the way it is, I'm sorry. Um, but the top note usually is the one that really does get lost in a base oil like this. So depending on how you want your blend to be, whether you want that top note to be very outspoken, very brilliant, then you're going to need to increase your top notes as you like it. 
And you can also increase your bass notes on the same note. I mean, obviously, if you prefer, you could actually do a 60-30-10 ratio, which would be six drops of top note, three drops of middle note, and one drop of bass note. So try one of those ratios to see how your blend works. So what are you gonna do? Well, the first thing we want to do is choose two to five essentials that we want to work with. Okay, and this is, like I said, we're building the cord and we're going to be using our perfume strips. Okay, you're going to need to get your perfume strips out to help you put that together because we don't want to waste the oil making something we don't like or want to use. So in each cord, you're going to have one note that is going to be the dominant note and the others are going to support that note. Now you may want to start with your favorite oil. Let's say frankincense might be or, or go back to the aromatic groups and choose that group. Now I tend to focus um, my blends on more of an oriental blend. I like the heavier notes. So I'm going to be choosing probably one of the notes from that group and then I'm going to choose two to three oils that are gonna sort of work together in the oriental group. Now you're gonna be adding one drop of essential oil to your paddle. Remember we did this, check out that video if you haven't seen it already. But you're gonna be adding a drop of essential oil here and write the name of the oil here. And then we're gonna just bend it up because we have to let it dry down. So when you're putting it on your surface, it's going to be up like this okay so you're going to have one for each oil so this way you can just test your blend make sure you like it you think that those oils are going to work together well and that'll be how you're going to build your cord okay so sometimes blending with that one drop of oil for the base note that is the one that's going to smell the strongest but it is the one in helping to educate maybe your nose in detecting which one is the dominant note. Okay, so it's always gonna be different based on what you choose to use, all right? So they're all gonna smell different once you put them into the carrier oil because they are gonna be diluted. So this will be a 10% dilution rate based on those two different ratios I gave you, which would be the 40 30 30 or the 60 30 10 you you get to decide on that and then once you have it like this then you'll you'll be able to use this in building your perfumes okay because this is going to be your juice and you're going to put this over here have it ready to go so when you are ready to put the perfume together you already have this part of it already done. Isn't that neat? I love this. Tell me how your blends turned out. Share it in the comments below. I'd love to know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video when we're gonna be talking about horizontal accords. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.